no one must say excellent at them. Bounce to the woman, we got them. Can't live with them, can't live with them. Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're having a great week. Um, just wanted to show you the hairstyle that I did today. Um, it's a great um, protective style. Um, so, anyways, last week I um, did a bentonite clay um, like deep cleanse and then I deep conditioned my hair. Um, and afterwards, I decided I wanted to put in a protective style that I could wear for, you know, one to two weeks um, so that I wouldn't be just in my hair all the time um, and just give it a break, especially since it's been so cold and dry um, this past month. Um, so I decided to do some mini twists. So what I did first was to do my um, normal small to medium sized twists and then I um, let those dry. Um, and then I took them out, um, and I split them in half, and I made, um, some mini twists. Um, so I probably have maybe over a hundred twists in my hair right now. Um, it took a really, really long time. I think I stayed up all night, um, watching some Korean, um, uh, TV shows. So, <laughs> it was a very long process, but I'm happy with it. Um, so I wore the twists, um, just out for about two days, um, and I decided that I wanted to, um, put them up out of my face. So what I did then was just to wear them in two pigtails with a little bang in the front, and it was so adorable. Um, and one thing that I really liked about the pigtails is that because the twists were pulled back, they kind of looked like mini locks. And I've been toying with the idea of locking my hair um, for the past month or so. Um, so it was just kind of interesting to see like what it might look like with my face. Um, and I was really pleased. So I'm still thinking about locking my hair, although I probably won't do it for another year or two. Um, but at least I have like this frame to um, consider. Um, but then, um, last night I was looking at some protective styling, um, videos on YouTube, and I found, um, I rediscovered a style that I had done frequently when I was transitioning, and that was just to, um, pin all of my twists up, um, back towards the center of my head, um, and just tuck the ends in so that they're protected. So what I did was to, um, just separate um, 11 sections of my hair, I just did it with my hand, I just grabbed some twists on each side of my head, um, and I rolled it as if you were making a French roll, and I just bobby pinned them in the middle. Um, so there are about five, um, sections on each side, and then I pulled my bang back, um, and I just put on this headband this morning, because I thought it was cute. <laughs> um, so this is the style that I wore today. I'm probably going to wear it for the rest of the week. Um, and I think on Saturday or Sunday, I'm going to pull out all the twists, um, wash, deep condition, um, and retwist, um, for next week. Um, I'm not sure if I'll twist them again this small or if I'll braid them. Um, but I guess I'll see, um, when the weekend comes and just based on how much work I have. So that was the first thing, I just wanted to show you my hairstyle, and I really like it up out of my face, and I feel like it's kind of regal, it's very elegant. <laughs> okay, second of all, I went to the beauty supply store with my roommate and our friend yesterday, and I bought a lot of stuff that I don't need, as usual, um, but I had a lot of fun doing that, um, and the first thing that I bought was this jar of Hollywood's beauty, sorry, the tea tree cholesterol deep conditioner with shea butter and aloe. And I looked on Google and I looked on YouTube and I couldn't find any reviews um, about this product. I couldn't find any thoughts about this product. So I was like, well, since I have it, why not try it and make a review for you guys? So if anyone's interested, you can purchase this for yourself. I know a lot of people use the big Queen Helene jar, the carrot mayonnaise, I don't even know. And like there's, I think, olive oil one and like African Pride makes their own or African Organics. I don't know what the name of the company is exactly. Um, but I think this will be very similar. So I'm really excited. 
and it's 20 ounces so I see this lasting me maybe a good two or three months if I'm not too heavy-handed um, with the product. Um, second of all I bought the Elasta QP Mango Butter Moisturizer and I've been wanting to try this out for a few months. Um, my roommate had her own um, moisturizer and she really 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 liked it um, and I like a lot of the products that she uses although she has a different hair type from me um, she's like 3C and I'm 4A 4B um, but I'm really excited to use this product I think I'm gonna really like it um, I'm just looking at the ingredients now um, okay there's some stuff in here but I will let you know about it when I review it for you. Either way, I'm still going to try it out because it was $7.99. Um, third of all, I bought the Talia Wajid Strengthener, um, and I guess when I read it, I kind of thought it was, um, a moisturizer or something to use, like, throughout my hair, but I think it's more of, um, like a hair grease hair oil when I opened the jar. Today. <laughs> but it smells really good um and like I love like traditional hair oils like Blue Magic and I don't know Dudley's uh, I don't know I my mom has a whole bunch of stuff at home um so I guess it kind of reminds me of the past I try to get hair oils that are 100% natural these days um so I'm really excited to use this product um, and it's promising a lot, so we'll see how it goes. Fourth, I got a bottle of apple cider vinegar from the vitamin shop, and I'm really, really excited because I've been wa I've been wanting to do the baking soda scrub um, ACV rinse for months now, and I've not been able to find a bottle of ACV. Um, I just randomly happened to look down at the bottom shelf and I saw that they had vinegar. Um, yeah, so like when I had looked before, all I could find was plain vinegar. Um, so I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to do the bacon soda scrub and the rinse and let you guys know how that goes. Probably won't end up using this whole bottle of vinegar, but I know my mom and my dad um, prefer apple cider vinegar to regular vinegar, so I'll most likely give them the rest of the bottle when I'm done with it. <laughs> and lastly, I got this bottle of African black soap. And it was originally $12. I got it for $2. Um, so I'm really excited. Most likely going to use it um, just as a body wash and not as a shampoo. Um, since I've read, like, I've read reviews that, like, you know, praise black soap in the hair. And I've read reviews that's like, don't use black soap in your hair because it's really drying. Um, and I love black soap on my face and my body already. So why heard something that's not broken, um, just gonna continue using this on my skin. Oh man, I'm really excited. So anyways, um, that's all for my products. I'm gonna be doing a product review of Herbal Essences Hello Hydration, um, so I hope you guys will come back to watch that. I'm gonna put both of these videos up in a bit. Um, so have a great night, and I'll see you all later. Bye!